what's going on guys i am here do a quick review video let me show you some footage of this thing in the field i don't know how many of you have endoscopes or any kind of camera um inspecting heat exchangers looking into duct work maybe backsides evaporator coils that you can't access can't clean um hard to view spots i mean places that even trying to slide your phone and even then you're taking a chance because you can't see what you're looking at when you take your picture you come out you got to redo it but i've had the rigid And you find them in the plumbing section at the Lowe's or Home Depot. And I've tried using those, but it seems like the screen is kind of small. And then when you're inside like a heat exchanger or inside an area, it seems like the, the view is shadowed around the outsides. It's just not a real good picture. So I bought the Milwaukee. And I didn't even make it out of the parking lot at Home Depot with that because I turned it on and the screen wouldn't come on. Wouldn't show me a picture, wouldn't do anything. I took that thing back in there. So <clears throat> I stuck with the rigid, tried using that, but this company reached out to me and I was a little skeptical to begin with. But Depth Tech, this is more, in, I think it's more geared towards plumbers. Um, they have models of this that come with a 16 foot, a 25 foot, and then I think even a 50 foot scope camera. You roll that thing out. Um, they did have this one model. There's two different versions of this. I think there's a 520 and a 530. This one gives you the option of the four and a half foot. And they reached out, sent me an email, asked me if I would try using this and do a review on it. So no, I'm not getting paid for this. But I did get this for free. These things retail around um, $80, $85, $87. And I was actually pretty impressed. I'm going to show you some footage. We're going to go through this, the features on it, how it works. So for whatever reason, this is the one video that would not download. And it's the one going inside the heat exchanger cells. But uh, as you can see, there's a turbulator stuck in the back end of this particular heat exchanger cell but uh i don't know the other videos you'll see them they downloaded this one for whatever reason wouldn't upload or whatever you want to call it but anyway just playing it back on the computer screen that is inside of a heat exchanger cell on a package unit i'm gonna go over here and check another cell real quick got to hold the kind of you want to hold your camera steady um brace it a little bit you don't want to have a whole lot of shaking it, it will um be a little if you so you just got to be careful when you're going in there be easy slow pretty deliberate in what you're doing don't just stick it in there and start vibrating and shaking it and moving it all over the place
All right, so I hope you thought that footage was good. Um, give you some ideas of what you could use this for. I've got to tell you, I'd rather use this than the Milwaukee. I'd definitely rather use it more than the Rigid or some of those other versions of endoscopes and cameras. But it comes in this packing storage case. Small. Definitely smaller than that big plastic box that that rigid camera comes in and that rigid camera getting that camera wound back up and getting it back in the box and get everything to line up right in the holes to get the top to close down it, it's just it's aggravating as all get out and of course the milwaukee didn't work day one so i got rid of that but it's kind of similar to the testo box that your pros would come in and a testo You know, the manual, I gotta tell you, you don't even need to pull that out. This thing is so easy to use. There's a few features in here, maybe you'll check that out. But I don't even think I've opened the manual yet. So this is the camera here, or the main part of it. You're gonna have your power button on, off, hold it down, turn it on, hold it down, turns it off. And then you've got your left and right arrows to scroll through your different features select what you want you're going to hit your ok button go in and set your settings and then take a picture or you can actually record footage and like i said there's an sd card right here in the bottom this is where you're going to recharge it open this up there's a slot right there for your sd card which comes with it 32 gigabytes and then your usb-c Charging port is right there. SD card snaps right down and it right in and out. Download things to a computer. Uh, send a file, send a video to a customer, however you want to do that. So let's go ahead and turn this on. And there is your screen. Now it's going to say no signal until you plug up the probe. And we're going to do that here in a minute. So it won't even let you go into your settings until you get your probe connected. So here is the probe right here. It comes with these small Velcro hook and loop. So you can roll this up and you can secure it so it doesn't unwind on you. Kind of like a USB type adapter there's a groove on the back side it only plugs in one way and you'll stick that in there plug it in and it will not come on until you snap it completely in and then now as you can see how small this camera is fits into really tight spots you've got your light so you can hit these left and right arrows and you can turn your light down. You can turn it higher, however you want. So that's just outside. Looking around, and yes, dark outside, 530, 30 dark outside. So as you can see right here, we're looking at this box, the back side of that box. I can flip this screen. So... If you look at this I can flip the camera view so you don't have to fight this thing and try to twist it and turn it to get it where you want it just hit this button and there you flip your image around left and right if you hold it down now you're looking with the side camera so that's looking at the chair sitting to my right you hold it down again It's going to give you at some point a split screen. It's supposed to give you a split screen. There we go. So there's the split screen. So now you can see the box on the left side of the screen, and then you can see the side camera on the right side. So we're looking at the box, and we're looking at my chair sitting over there. Hold it down again, goes back to your main screen. So you've got the camera in the end, 
and then you have another side camera right here and when you flip it to the side camera there's also a separate light for the side camera so there you go now we're back on the split screen as you can see hold this button down one more time and we go back to the main picture so what else comes in the box got your recharging cable your USB-C for charging it it also comes right here so if you need to hook in so you're looking down a drain and you want to find something down in there you have two options you've got this piece that goes on the end it's got the magnet on it you just screw that onto the tip and you have the other fitting which is a hook so if you need to reach in you look at maybe a ring falls out a drain line that's the biggest example you can look with the camera then you can go in there and try to hook it pull it back out so those are the accessories that come with it we're going to go through the menu on it real quick these are your settings and hold that button down or click it one time actually so you got 1080p so you can set your however you want to do that select it 1080p 720 hit ok your auto power off you can set that timer for off where it'll just run constantly till you turn it off you can set it for 15 you can set it for 30 minutes I've just got it set for 30 I'll usually remember to turn things off when I'm finished. You can set your date and your time if you want things to be time, st time stamped to coincide. If you're going to send a homeowner a video at it as an attachment um, through your invoicing service, things like that. Um, it'll be time stamped to show the, the day and time that you were actually there. So we'll go down around there. Scroll down 2023. Okay. I've already set the date and time, so we'll go with that. Set your language, your screen brightness, so you can turn that up and down however you want to do that. The brightness of the screen, and then obviously you want to clear out, format your SD card. When you're ready to re-record new footage, you can do that. And reset the system, so... If you just wanted to reset everything back to factory default, you would go to reset system. So, I'm going to go out of settings. And, I mean, it's pretty much that easy. Now, if you want to record, this is your button up here at the top. It's got a camera on one side, a video camera on the other. So, if you want to take a picture or a screenshot, hit it one time. It takes a screenshot. If you hold it down, it starts recording. And then start your timer so it'll record. I mean, you got 32 gigabytes. You got your battery indicator there, it shows you what kind of charge you've got. When you're done recording, just hit that button again and it stops recording. So it's very easy to operate. And as you can see, I know we're getting some glare because it is dark outside. That's kind of a glossy box that I'm pointing that camera at. But the picture is very clear. It's high definition. Like I said, there's the grill over there. Obviously, the closer you are to what your focal point is, the more clear this picture is. As an example, I'm going to do the back of my hand. Now you can see the lines in my hand right there. You can actually see the fingerprints on that on the end of my finger so it is a very good picture guys trust me on that this thing is about 86 87 dollars and i've bought the 120 dollar rigid camera the 230 dollar milwaukee that didn't work the day i bought it i didn't pay for this obviously they sent it to me to do this video i was very surprised i'm going to keep this and i'm going to use this uh, very handy, useful, 
heat exchangers, being able to access some back of evaporator coil inside some duct work. If you look and see how dirty a plenum is, whether it's mildewy on the inside, uh, maybe you're finding the section of duct work has collapsed internally, the plastic liner. You can kind of find where you're looking at, pop you a hole, stick this in there, see what you're looking for. I mean, there's a lot of places uh, mechanics kind of use these. Getting into engine blocks, looking at uh, pistons and cylinders, um, things like that. But I got to tell you guys, this is probably of the things that I've been sent, the meters and the gas stuff, uh, that thermal imager. Um, I put these two kind of on par with each other. Very quality products. Um, was very impressed with how this thing works and definitely going to use it. So, if you're needing an air conditioning, you're looking for a good camera, go on Amazon. I'm going to put a link to this down in the description. This is the Depths Tech. What is it? The DP or the DS520. The DS520. It'll give you options on what length you want. If you're heating and air, that four and a half foot camera is going to be all you really need. I wouldn't be trying to get you a 50 foot camera. 